you need to be careful. Let's look at the, the other one. Scared. You have the same problem here, man. It's not Jay Green, it's you, man. You need to be. I mean, it's okay to have weak points. I'm just pointing out what your weak point is. The rest of the. The rest of your gameplay is very solid. On the entire. Oh, finally. Why didn't you go for the setup here? Man, always go for the setup. I told you already. You got the parry, you do light snowflake, and you do the mix-ups. Always. I hope Big Jack is listening too. Because he's a Colleen player. Big Jack, are you there? Are you listening? Nice. Why did you do that? That's very bad, man. Don't do that. Use crouching medium punch. That's strange, okay. Nice. No, you're very late with the setup. You need to do the snowflake as soon as the V trigger hits. Okay, that's fine. Nice interruption. You were a little bit late, but at least you tried. Okay, go in. Okay, ah, uh, you could have punished that. Nice. No. Why? You could have gone for the target combo there. Light punch, medium punch, heavy punch into uh, heavy punch hands and game over for him. Be careful, man. When you hit with this, every time you hit with a cross up like this, go for crushing light punch. Good. But then you go for the target combo, man. That's the only confirm you have. You didn't confirm. Yo, Dojo. Okay, man. And now you lost. See, it's little things that makes the dif that make the difference. Round two. If you put many little things together, you get a big gameplay fall flaw. Like in your case, I mean, entire is not a very very big deal. Uh, the hit confirm is not a very big deal. But you put those things together and you have a problem. Yo, Gunfight, thank you for the host, man. Best Alex. Hope you had a good stream, man. And loser stays on. Hi, man. No, okay, so, man. Two mistakes here. If you uh, do a dash throw, you can go for the parry. You still have time to enter with a parry, or at least I want you to enter with a standing light punch. This is bad, and even worse was doing that V reversal. You're wasting meter, man. You're wasting V meter. And you even got punished. So, be on the lookout. This is punishable, don't do that. Okay, good night. Go fight. And hi, Dio Brownface. If you watch Punko, what Punko does is he dashes in, he does like a throw, and if the opponent jumps straight, he's ready with the parry. Or the EX parry, even better. So, uh, be on the look, that's very important. That's what makes the difference between a low level Colleen player and a pro level Colleen player. Yeah, I have a sponsor now. Rich, Alex Nation. Hi guys, welcome. I don't know, you tell me. Uh, okay, the shimmy was okay, but it's not okay if you shimmy a person you're hitting. It's okay if you shimmy a person that's blocking. It wasn't blocking and you did a shimmy. I mean, I'm glad it worked, but that's a mistake from my opinion. 
another anti-air that that's that you didn't do so nice block okay that's okay nice that's nice <laughs> big jack my biggest man do the push oh. <laughs> do it <laughs> do it <laughs> Do the pushes! Oh. Do it! <laughs> Do it! <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, your conditioning game is on point. Because you went for many shimmies, so now you condition him, and now you went for a throw. Even if the throw got tapped, that was a nice uh, set of mix-ups. Okay? I can see the thought process behind that. So your gameplay makes sense now. So good job for that. See, nice, that's nice. He tagged your throw, so you went for a shimmy now. Your mind process, I really like your mind process. Your thought process, sorry. Yeah, this guy is good though. He's has a good defense. Okay, so we need you need to step it up now. You need to step it up because this guy is showing you that I mean, this guy is pretty rare. It's pretty rare to meet a guy that defends like this because he's both taking your throws and blocking your shimmies. He's doing the delay tech. These guys are very rare in today's Street Fighter, even at the pro level. Most likely this guy was a Street Fighter 4 player because he's stacking like Street Fighter 4. If you want to beat a guy that's stacking like Street Fighter 4, you need to play it like Street Fighter 4. So what you need to do is doing light punch, a, slight wa a little walk forward, take a step forward, and then you do a frame trap, like crushing medium punch, for example, or standing medium kick. It's very rare. 90% of the time, you will be to open. You will be able to open up your opponents the way you're playing right now. But every once in a while, you can meet players like this, and you have to go for the frame traps, for delayed frame traps, like crushing light punch, for example. Very simple example: crouching light punch. Wait like two frames and then you go for the crouching medium punch <laughs> your kid is old enough to <laughs> we call you on skype <laughs> yo qc hi man Rainis, is the abbastanza fiel i think you have the option to go for the v trigger this is a v trigger man you can combo yo bolly rock hi man I mean, it's okay, you get strong, but this guy is definitely not a gold player. His defense is very good, he is most likely, maybe I'm, maybe that's a stretch, but I think this guy is an old school player, he plays straight for a four. Okay, I went over Talentino for a long, long time, <laughs> so let's get to the other guys. Eh, lo so, 